Hi everyone, it's Heather here from Creative Faith Art Studio and I am so excited tonight. So there's a few things that have happened over the last uh, couple weeks. I'm almost done with my Christmas journals and so I just have two to sew the signatures into and add a few more embellishments and those are done so I'll be um, posting a video soon for those. But um, And then I went down to... Um, see my mom and my sister and my sister is opening her store she makes um, handmade soap and it's beautiful and she's opening a store in Illinois in Monticello Illinois um, and that will be open in the next couple weeks so my youngest and I drove down there to help just kind of clean and whatever she needed we were there to do so um, so that's what we did and so I have some, I'll have some pictures and some things coming that I can post in the next, um, we're going to go back again in a week and um, get some more done and I'm going to take some photos and then I'll be sharing that. Um, but before we left, my youngest has been wanting to make his own journal. Um, and it turns out he thinks they're not very exciting. So he, he changed his mind and he, he may not want to keep his journal, but he made it and he was, he was really happy to do that. So I wanted to share with you his journal. So this is uh, an altered book. <clears throat> it's just closed with a ribbon. He has painted the nothing, done nothing really with the cover, but he did paint the um, the back and the front. And then we added one of these little chalkboard labels, and he wrote his name using a gold um, oil-based sharpie. Here, um. Where are they? Hold on, I'll show you. One of these guys. So this is the white one. But it's one of these. It's a, um, and he used the metallic gold. Um, so it turned out really cute though. So um, I do need to find him a longer ribbon just so he's not frustrated when he ties it. But um, I think it turned out really well. And he was, he was actually really, for someone who said, well, I don't know maybe a journal is just not that exciting for me. He was really excited to put, to, put it together. I used, um, we used two um, different paper packs, but he actually only had six pages of scrapbook paper, and they were boy-themed um, books, and I wish I knew what they were. Let me see if I can find them quick. Okay, so here, there are these two, these two packs. So this is... Um, photo play and it's called it's called freestyle and so it's got like you know snowboarding and um, skateboarding and all these you know different things in it and a lot of um, little you know you cut apart tags um, so I gave him this sheet to use and then he picked um, I think he picked this one and the um, this print and the checkerboard and then this one the built boy tough paper collection um, he picked these two here he wanted the red stars but I gave him the blue ones because I had used the red already in something else um, and then this one I think had some cut aparts too. Or maybe there's a third one. Hold on one second. Oh yeah. So there is a third one. So this one. My imagination. So he had um he had took a, a couple pages from here and then I gave him this comes with stickers and everything, which I will cut apart and give to him um, and put in the in the back. But um, this is the, we cut these all apart. So, um, but he, again, he had six, six um, scrapbook pages and then the two um, pages to, for cut apart um, tags. And then we used like um, some of these, so this is from the little engine that could. I had a few of these pages left. This is like 
old check stubs for business checks for the printer. And then his old, you know, learning how to write paper. I thought was kind of cute to put in there. Um, and some Dr. Seuss pages. So really, it's very basic. Oh, I think there's some ledger paper in there too. Very basic, but um, yeah, he was he was really <laughs> was really excited to make it. So we just um, I showed him how to cut the pages out without damaging the spine, and then we reinforced it with a piece of a scrap from his pages that we cut to size. He did all the cutting. I showed him how to measure the measure the pages with the um, uh, We Are Memory Keepers um, scoring and cutting tool, whatever that's called. And then um, I had him, you know, I helped him line stuff up for a little bit and then he did the rest. So we stuck a, you know, library card in the front and then um, I, I asked him how to, you know, how he wanted the pages put together to, just because he was having trouble you know, keeping everything in line and he was getting frustrated. But then he poked all the holes in and did all the stitching and I think he did a real, and, and tied everything. He did a really nice job. So anyway, this is Isaiah's journal. So I'll just give you a quick flip through. Um, we didn't do a lot with, uh, um, you know, adding tags necessarily, but he did, he really liked using the stapler. So here he's got a little uh, flash card in his, in his pocket that he made with a stapler. He actually doubled up on this one, which was a little brave, and he has another pocket here. Um, here's one he, you know, stapled this on to make a pocket, a pocket here, a big old playing card. Um, oh, here we found this book some Bible stories and the animals of the Bible. So this is uh, Daniel and the lion's den. And then there's a little start of the Jonah and the whale. I thought that was cute. Um, oh, here's another. You know, again, loved the stapler. Bingo card. Some ledger paper. There's another piece of scrapbook paper. Um, little engine that could and here he wanted to make a pocket but how do you make it without having the staples in it mom so yeah, I showed him how to glue the sides down and it's got this game piece um, in it to journal on a little you know tuck spot here he had to reload the stapler at one point because um, used them all up and he was amazed by that actually he was like I thought staplers always had staples in them so I thought that was kind of cute um, there's another little lion flashcard and then he wanted this was funny too because he said I said oh you've got this long you know saying you know how do you want to use it and he said well what if we um, glued it on one side and the other and then it made like a pocket that you that you could see through or go through and I said did you know what that's there's an actual name for that a belly band and he was like oh I'm gonna have a belly band in my journal <laughs> I'm like yeah you can have two if you want so he yeah this hit his creation and he was so proud of himself for that and then there's more of that, you know, writing lined paper and some more ledger paper. And um, the one thing I made a um, a boys a boys journal for positive thinking, and um, it had it needs a few um, a few edits in it, but it's got journaling prompts in it and Bible quotes and um, you know anything to get boys thinking that you know how wonderful they are because it seems like um, there's been a push for girls to feel good about themselves and it seems I, in my opinion that boys have been left out and so um, I can see that in my kids and in other uh, parents kids when 
I talk to them. So I thought that would be a great thing. And I was going to put some of those pages in his journal, but unfortunately my printer ran out of ink and so I ordered the ink and then it needed a new maintenance kit. So I got one sheet printed and none, no others. So um, I, I was thinking of maybe adding that, like adding a, a signature to his journal so he'd have at least one signature with the prompts and stuff in it. And I think I'm, I'll make that available on my website because I think it's just a nice thing for, um, and for girls too. This one was, you know, I made for boys and it had got you know, the prompts were geared towards boys, but I, I am working on one for girls as well. It just seemed like when I looked up, you know, journals for positive thinking, the only ones that came up on Amazon or anywhere else were for girls. So, um, I thought that was a little, um, a little disappointing and, you know, kind of discouraging. So I made my own. So anyway, um, I'll link to that in the description box below, but, um, here, so this is Isaiah's journal. Here we put, we made a secret pocket behind the envelope. And this old envelope has all of the rest of his little prizes that he didn't use. And this is where I'll stick his um, stickers too once I get them all cut apart. Or it may, I may just cut them into, you know, like little sheets that'll fit in the envelope. Not cut them all individually, but. So a little, you know, this is part of the paper pack. Again, we just cut these apart. Or that plaid this all has the plaid on the back so I thought that was kind of cute though it's all about gaming and um, power of imagination here's another thing if he wants to do a belly band he's got it but I thought that's very cute the paper you know the scrapbook paper the kit was very cute or is very cute Oh, this is from that other paper pack with the um, uh, snowboarding and whatnot with the camouflage on the back. And then this is when, here I'll show you, this is why I helped him line stuff up. Because we found out the hard way, you know, if you don't hold it tight, you can't trim it straight. Which I honestly think is pretty cute. Like, you know, can't you see that, you know, just kind of stapled on as a tag on the side of the page or something? Same thing with that one. Um, and then I had some, oh, here, they, look at how cute these little, so there's forever. And then this little monster. I love that guy. And the little skater boy. Um, super cool. But then I did, I did have some other game pieces. I had him go through and pick out some game pieces. So those are the ones in here, but there's a sheet from Clue which if I haven't said this before, it's always been one of my favorite games. And then this one, I don't know what this is from. Zap Mondo or something like that. But yeah, so, um, so that is Isaiah's little journal. No, I gave him, I tried to give him options on what kind of paper he wanted to use and I had him pick out everything out on his own and um, so this and he put the, told me what order he wanted the pages in so it's really his and um, yeah, I think he did an amazing job. He's really proud of it. So um, even if it's not exciting, he's still proud of it. <laughs> so... Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. If I, you know, it's just, it was a fun thing to do with him. Um, and, you know, just to spend the time with him and whatever. But, and then just that he was, you know, picking out, he went to the thrift store with me to find the book. He, you know, he cut the pages out and picked the paper and everything. And I, it was just so much fun. So, Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, please feel free to leave comments below, and um, if you liked it, um, you know, give me a thumbs up, and um, that's something that we, <laughs> that Isaiah especially watches for. I don't know if I told this story, but he told me one day, he's like, I said, Isaiah, I loaded my third YouTube video, and he's like, oh my gosh, mom, and you even have one like? <laughs> said 
oh, buddy, that's, that's probably you. <laughs> so he's like, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's something that, that would be fun to see. Any, um, so I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.